Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I would like first of all to thank uh, the Fisher Institute for inviting me to say a couple of words and to attend this important conference. I'm so pleased to see uh, so many familiar people, friends from Israel. Uh, you mentioned before, dear friend, uh, that we made great effort to come here. For us in Cyprus, it's only 20 minutes flights. It's shorter to fly Larnaca Tel Aviv than come from the hotel here. <laughs> I'm also very pleased to see you know, such a high attendance in this, um, in this uh, conference. I knew that aviation is important in Israel, and indeed it should be important, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, air travel is the most important mode of transport for connecting people and countries, bridging gaps between land and sea alike, and connecting places of production to places of consumption. It is indeed a tool of economic, commercial, social, and potentially political development of countries and regions. To highlight this importance, let me mention just a few statistics. During the last 15 years, the number of flights in Europe alone doubled, reaching the staggering figure of 12 million annually. This figure is expected to rise to 20 million by the year 2020. These flights carry safely some 500 million persons annually and millions of tons of freight worth hundreds of billions of euros. They are controlled by 17,000 air traffic controllers working in 67 control centers, which are divided to 671 sectors and 430 control towers at an annual cost of 8 billion euros in terms of route charges. To manage this huge and ever-increasing number of flights is technically and operationally a very complex task. Let me illustrate this complexity by showing you a very short video of Eurocontrol which simulates one day of traffic in Europe. If the technician can put the video, please. This, this is traffic in middle of August of this year. It's just a real-time simulation. It was real flights, of course, compressed, 24 hours compressed in, in few hours. I don't know, is this in, okay? Okay, you can see it begins midnight one day. You can see mainly now traffic coming from the Atlantic to come to arrive in, uh, in Europe in the morning. And as morning approaches, traffic is uh, building up and you will see the central of Europe, the congestion at any time, at any time, at peak hours, which is just about now, seven o'clock in the morning, you can see there, there are six and a half aircrafts in the air at the same time. The most congested areas, of course, is London, Frankfurt, and Paris. And then you will see as the peak traffic goes, then traffic is less. Maybe it doesn't look too much in our part of the world, there, Cyprus and Israel, but given the size of our FIRs, it's still important uh, figures there. For example, I know Cyprus FIR, Nikos FIR, they handle 280,000 flights uh, per year. Now, for a small country like Cyprus, this is uh, an, important, um, an important figure. Okay, I think we stop it, otherwise you don't listen to me. Yet, despite this staggering figures and the technical, operational, and other complexities in managing this huge and ever-increasing number of flights, air travel continues to be the safest mode of transport and its safety performance is improving year after year. For example, last year we had in Europe only 980 fatalities from air accidents. In contrast, some 45,000 thousands lives were lost in traffic uh, road accidents in, in Europe. One could say that air travel is 26 times more safe than uh, road traffic. Of course, this performance could not have been achieved had it not been for the sustained improvements in technology, procedures, 
human skills, and above all, the improved cooperation between all the parties of the aviation industry at regional and global level. And cooperation, ladies and gentlemen, is the key to the future development of the aviation industry. It is for this importance of regional cooperation that we had in mind when we established our foundation uh, four years ago. Non-governmental organizations like ours and the Fisher Institute are not, do not aspire to be directly involved in the management or regulation of civil aviation activities. What we can do, however, and we are good at it, and this is our vision and main objective, is to contribute to the enhancement of safety and the development of aviation in general by raising awareness, educating, criticizing at times, and promoting cooperation between the various countries as well as between regions. It is on this basis that the Flight Safety Foundation, Southeast Europe, Middle East, and the Fisher Institute are in the process of initiating discussions with a view to conclude a memorandum of cooperation. We believe that we had something to offer. We also believe that given its nature as a transnational and interregional activity, aviation can make a meaningful contribution to a turbulent region like the Middle East. I wish all of you a successful conference. I hope to see you soon in our future events. Thank you for listening to me.